Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 2 Shankya Yoga, Yoga of Analysis Text 1 Sanjaya said, To Arjuna, who was thus overcome with pity and had tears filling his downcast eyes in despair, Madhusudana began to speak. The previous chapter is called Vishad Yoga. Vishad is the condition of distress. The symptoms of Arjuna's distress, Vishidantam, in the form of downcast eyes filled with tears, Ashru Purna Kuli Kshanam, are described in this verse in the course of introducing Krishna's speech. The grammatical arrangement in this verse indicates that Arjuna's despair is external and thus possible to remove. Krishna's instructions in this chapter, by which he seeks to remove Arjuna's despair, constitute a sutra-like summary of the Gita's contents. When Arjuna dropped his bow at the end of the previous chapter, Dhritarashtra's heart leaped. The old king thought, Despite Sanjaya's subtle inferences to the contrary, it appears that I was right. The piety of the Pandavas and that of Kurukshetra have combined to grant victory to my son by default. Arjuna will not fight, and Duryodhana will be the king without shooting an arrow. Sensing his false hopes, Sanjaya continues his narration, relating how Krishna, whom he addressed here as Madhusudana, begins to speak. He refers to Krishna by this name, to indicate to Dhritarashtra that just as Krishna had long before slain the demon Madhu, so now he would slay the demon-like doubts of Arjuna. Free from doubt, Arjuna will fight and be victorious. Although Arjuna's reluctance to fight appears to be supported by valiant and even religious concerns, Krishna thinks otherwise, as does Sanjaya, comparing Arjuna's doubts to demons.